Uh, oh, welcome back, my gardening friends. Well, another skip find. It looks quite good until you look at it closely. But I just wanted to show you what you can achieve by getting things for free. Remember, if you take anything from a skip, you need permission from the owner, or you could get into trouble. So, we've got this. Ask permission. Yep, yeah, make use of it and we'll see if we can get this back up and running again and we'll show you quickly around it what is exactly wrong with it so the tyre looked in good shape until uh, you uh, took a real close look at it now the barra is in really good nick it looks like it's been standing for a long time, so I think somebody's bought it, put it together, used it once, and left it be. So it's had a bit of hassle there, but this metal's very, very thin. Didn't tighten the bolts up properly there, or here. I've got good handles. So we've got some nuts there now if you haven't got locking nuts if you put two nuts on the end of the bolt that will lock them into place and I've tried it I think those will do so they're for free uh, straightening out hammer and a few tools but we're going to need a spare wheel of course knowing me I've uh, got a little bit of everything and uh, I've always got my spanners if the uh, wheelbarrow is completely trashed. Sometimes the tyres in a tube or even the rims are in good nick. So I'm going to just do a straight swap. <coughs> now this bar goes in there and that's what we turn on. Now look at that. Whoever's had this wheelbarrow hasn't looked after it and there's a little bit of wear on there, nothing uh, to hurt. So I'm just going to uh, pop a bit of grease on. Oil's okay. It's very difficult to get it in. And it'll get slippy, so I'm just going to have to uh, give that a bit of persuasion and uh, not forgetting the, uh, the bolt just in case it wants to turn on that. Just make sure it's running nice and free. Surprising with these nuts out there. The whole wheelbarrow is moving about, so let's see if we can stiffen all that up by tightening everything up and replacing the nuts and bolts. If you can't uh, get the holes to line up, pop a screwdriver in and uh, just just maneuver it until you can it, and tighten that one up and that'll hold it in place hopefully. So I've tightened that one up as much as I can. We'll pop the other one on top and I'll just nip it up and that will be enough. Stop it coming undone. And that's uh, a lot better now. Like I say, the metal isn't very good. So all we need to do now is just tidy that up to make it look good. Probably won't last long. That'll do for me. Uh, on the end screen, I'm going to try and put uh, how you change a wheelbarrow tyre without tools. Oh, I did that early on in my video uh, blogging life but it was something worth sharing so I'll put that at the end it's worth watching and don't be frightened of asking if you see something put out especially if it's for scrap uh, I collect all the bits anything and then try and build a barrow this will go up to uh, the allotments and no doubt I'll probably get a couple of bags of compost for it it hasn't cost me nothing 15 20 minutes of my time today to put this right and somebody hopefully I'll get many years of pleasure. Happy gardening to you all. Till next time my friends. Try for now.